Good morning. I am going to be doing a 30 minute set here in um, about five minutes and I'm just um, getting set up here. So I hope you um, grab a cup of coffee and um, get settled and we will start here in a moment. biggest fan. My mom is here. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. I'm going to begin in about five minutes, so just hold tight, grab a cup of coffee, and um, we'll get started. Hope everyone is doing fine on this um, morning. And I'm really excited to be here today with the folk school. Good morning, Emily in South Alabama. I'm glad you're here. I got to teach an online class for the folk school just a few weeks ago and we had um, the best time and I think some of those folks are coming out to listen today um, but I've only taught I've taught at the folk school two times and each time I'm amazed at um, how much enthusiasm the students bring um, to the class it was just really fun connecting online um, doing a really old form of music um, on a really modern form of technology. Hi, Dorothy in Sparta. All right, I'm going to get started in just a minute. Um, the folk school is going to be streaming this from their site, so we want to get, um, we want them to have a chance to get it up so their followers can watch it. <clears throat> doing songs mostly from that I learned in North Carolina. I'm originally from Ohio. My name is Susan Pepper. I'm a performer and music educator teaching um, traditional songs mostly um, and some of the instruments. Good morning Judy Waldron um, and I've lived in North Carolina. Um, I came down here in 2003 um, so I've mostly well, actually the beginning of 2004. So I've mostly been down here since, except for a hiatus back up in Ohio where I'm from. Um, and um, I've just been on the trail of, of these songs that mean so much to me and have meant so much to um, the folks that have come before me. And um, they're beautiful threads with these old songs and threads that we hope will continue to be passed along and woven for a long time and I'm sure they will be. <clears throat> so if you want, I invite you to join with me on this first song called The Bright Morning Stars Arising. <clears throat> I learned it from <clears throat> Rosa Hicks up on Beach Mountain and her daddy would sing it at their house where they would have church meeting. And she did it unaccompanied. I'm gonna put a little uh, guitar with it um, and you'll pick right up on it, I'm sure. Oh, the bright morning star is arising, the bright morning star is arising. For day is a breaking in my soul, and I feel my soul rejoicing. Oh, come along, dear sisters, won't you come and go with me? For day is a breaking in my soul, and I feel my soul rejoicing. Day is a breaking in my soul. 
breaking in my soul, and I feel my soul rejoicing. So thanks so much to Rosa Hicks for sharing that song with me. And if you want to hear it, there is a recording of her doing it called On the Threshold of a Dream on my website. <clears throat> um, I'm going to now move over from Beach Mountain, where she sang that song, to um, Bryson City. So we're moving westward in western North Carolina almost to the folk school, which is in Brasstown, North Carolina. And I encourage you to look them up and see all the good work they do. Uh, I learned this one called Well Sold the Cow. It's an old ballad from Ireland, England, and Scotland that came over with immigrants. Um, and it was in Zora Walker's family for a long time and she shared it with me. She learned it from her dad, Virgil Jenkins, who was a logger and a um, postal man. Um, in this story, in this song, there's a, a boy who had, he sent on a task from his dad, um, to go sell the cow. And it's going to be challenging, but you'll have to listen to the story and see how he does. Come down, come down, the farmer said to his son, make some money or lose someone. Here's an old cow, take her to the fair. She's in good order and her I can spare like t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, the boy took the cow and he headed for the fair. Hadn't gone long till he met with a man. Hadn't gone long till he met with a man. Sold that cow for six pounds of tan like t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, he went to the bar room to get him a drink. The money was paid right down in jink. There's a lady there dressed in silk so fine. So that money into his coat line lie t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, the boy got out and started for his home. A robber mounted and soon followed on. If you're going down the road a few miles, get on behind me and we'll both ride lie t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, they hadn't gone more than a mile that way till the robber says, I'll tell you in plain. It's your money I want without any strife. If I don't get it, it's your sweet life, lie t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, the boy got out and spread his money out in a high patch of weeds he strutted all about. While the highway robber was picking at the loss, he jumped in the saddle, rode off with the horse, lie t'other. T'other Tamarantanio. Come back, come back, the robber he roared. Come back, come back, the robber he roared. Come back, come back, the robber he roared. I'll pay back your own in ten times more, lie t'other. T'other Tamarantanio. Well, the boy rode up to the old man's door. He come out with a stump on the floor. Son, oh, son, ain't it a curse? Our old cow's turned into a horse like t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. Well, the boy got down and began to unfold. He found 10,000 in silver and gold. He began to puff, he began to swell. Pappy, don't you think I sold the old cow? Well, like t'other, t'other Tamarantanio. So as you can see, it was a, a good ending for the boy, but not for the robber. Um, there's a, there was a man named Bascom Lamar Lunsford um, from Mars Hill, North Carolina. And he was an important uh, folk organizer, folk music collector, started one of the first, if not the first folk festival in Asheville, um, the Asheville Dance and Music Festival. Um, I'm gonna do a hymn he collected called Swing Low. Um, it's a different version probably than you might be familiar with, um, but really beautiful. And um, sing along if you want. Star in the east, swing low. Star in the west, swing low. Star in my breast, swing low. Swing low, cherry 
chariot swing low. My mother's gone, swing low. Gone to glory, swing low. Angels took her, swing low. Swing low, chariot swing low. Swing low in the east, swing low. This part's for you. Swing low in the west, swing low. Swing all around you, swing low. Swing low, chariot, swing low. My father's gone, swing low. Gone to glory, swing low. Angels took him, swing low. Swing low, chariot, swing low. Here we go again with the swing low. Swing low in the east, swing low. Swing low in the west, swing low. Swing all around you, swing low. Swing low, chariot, swing low. I got a letter, swing low. Sent from heaven, swing low. Angels sealed it. do star in the east. Star in the east, swing low. Star in the west, swing low. Star in my breast, swing low. Swing low, chariot, swing low. Swing low, chariot, swing low. Um, I'm giving you kind of a sample today of some of the songs I like to teach. Um, I've been teaching a workshop called Mountain Songs for the Soul over the past year about these songs bringing strength and joy in good and hard times. And um, I'll be teaching it again um, in 2022 in person at the folk school. So please look out for that. Um, and while I'm talking about the folk school, um, I'll just mention it's amazing. It has programs. I'm not sure if it's 365 days a year, but just about. And they've got on any given day, there are all these um, students at the school um, learning all these different things like basket make basket weaving and um, writing classes, music, um, dying, all this kind of all these kinds of things. Um, and um, it's really inspiring. It's a great service. Um, I was just reading recently that um, that fulfillment comes when we grow, and so that's what the folk school is providing, this opportunity for people to grow individually and do things they might not have known they could, and also, um, grow as a community, because that's a big part of their focus. Um, so I think uh, they're gonna put a link up here if you're inspired to donate or just to go on their website and see how you might wanna participate um, and learn more about the folk school. I'm honored to be a part of, to get to be a part of it now as an instructor. Um, I am now gonna go um, to Beach Mountain, North Carolina um, there was a wonderful, uh, incredible woman up there named uh, Buna Hicks, and she sang this song, um, as well as a lot of several other singers up there. It's a popular one. It's a really old ballad called The Joe Bull Hunter. Um, it's got a little gore in it, um, but it should, it also has got some pep in it here to get us going this morning. <coughs> um, and <clears throat> I learned it from Buna. Also, um, Rick Ward, he's a contemporary singer from that area today, and he sings it as well. I've got a, <clears throat> a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Abe and Bailey had three sons. The youngest was called Sammer. He's gone to the greens, his woods a-hunting, just like a jobel hunter. 
As he passed the Greenbrier Ridge, blow your horn, sinner. There he met a gay lady, if you are the Tobol Hunter. She says there's a wild boar in these woods, blow your horn, sinner. He's killed my lord and a thousand men, if you are the Tobol Hunter. He says, oh, how am I to know? Blow your horn, center. Blow your horn, northeast, west, and south, if you are the Jobal Hunter. He blowed his horn, northeast, west, and south. Blow your horn, center. The wild boar heard him into his den, if you are the Jobal Hunter. As they cross the wide oak mountain, blow your horn, sinner. There lay the bones of a thousand men, if you are the Jobal Hunter. As he slay the wild boar, blow your horn, sinner. The oak and ash they did bend, cause he was the Jobal Hunter. As they cross the White Oak Mountain, blow your horn, sinner. And on their way they went again, cause he was the Jobal Hunter. He met the witch wife on the bridge, blow your horn, sinner. Be gone, you rogue, you killed my pig, if you are the Jobal Hunter. She says these three things of your not crave. Blow your horn, sinner. Is your hawk, your hound, and your gay lady, if you are the Jobal Hunter? He says these three things of mine you can't have. Blow your horn, sinner. Is my hawk, my hound, and my gay lady, if you are the Jobal Hunter? He split the witch wife to the chin. Blow your horn, sinner, and on his way he went again, cause he was the Jobal Hunter. All right. I've lost, uh, I'm uh, gonna get the gourd banjo now. Um, and, um, do a little snippet of this, of the cuckoo, the old ballad way, and then I'm gonna play it on the gourd banjo to sort of show what often happened in America with the old ballads um, when different influences came together. Um, you, you started to get sometimes these folk songs um, that went with instruments and sort of chopped verses and not the full story. Um, this gourd banjo helps bring to light the African origins of the banjo um, as it was brought over by the knowledge of playing these gourd instruments was brought over by enslaved people and innovated here in America. Um, so this is Gene Ritchie's version of the cuckoo. I'll do a snippet of that. And then I'll play um, um, the cuckoo on the banjo, which you find a lot in white and black repertoire in the Appalachians and um, in the South. The cuckoo, she's a pretty bird. She sings as she flies. She brings us glad tidings. She tells us no lies. She sucks all the pretty flowers to make her voice clear and she never sings cuckoo till the spring of the year so that was the old ballad way The 
seventh generation ballad singer and storyteller um, who um, has inspired so many singers today and who who's done a beautiful job carrying on her community singing traditions. She's also an amazing writer and this is her Dinah. So you can see the evolution of the banjo from um, from that gourd to this um, thing with metal. And uh, this is called an old time um, open back banjo. So different from bluegrass with the big resonator, but um, a lot more modern materials than than the old the old gourd one and a lot different of um, a feeling. Um, and obviously this would have been something more for for the stage and um, commercial music, um, but you could hear with the cuckoo that the gourd banjo um, would and did work well for dancing, um, and that's what it was used a lot for. Um, up in Madison County and really all over the mountains, a real popular um, ballad has been Black is the Color, and I've, I think I've mostly been, um, my version's mostly inspired by the folks up in Madison County and Sheila's family. So I'm going to do um, a version of that one. An old, um, old love song full of, full of um, longing as they are. Black is the color of my true love's hair. His lips is like some rosy fair. With the prettiest face and the neatest hands, I love the ground whereon he stands. I love my love and well he knows. I love the ground whereon he goes. If you know more, 
winter's past and the leaves are green. The time has passed that we have seen. And yet I hope the day will come when you and I shall be as one. I'll go to Clyde for the morning weep. Yet satisfied I never can sleep. I'll write to you a few short lines, then suffer death ten thousand times. So fare thee well, my own true love. Our time has passed, but I wish you well. And yet I hope the day will come. I can serve you as you have me. All right. Um. I re uh, in 2021, um, I released a record called The Prettiest Bird, and um, I'm going to do at least one um, from that. I'm going to sing The Prettiest Bird. Um, what is the bore? <clears throat> um, and this song was inspired by um, the song The Blackest Crow um, that has a lot of imagery about... Um, the blackest crow uh, and will surely turn to white. So um, this this just talks about um, the fleetingness of of life and also the beauty. And uh, I think a lot about um, nature with it and and uh, our desire to to kind of hold on to the beauty of this earth that we see around us right now, that's still here. So far. 
false and true. The reddest rose will wither and die. The prettiest cloud will soon pass on by. The whitest cloud passes on by. And so I'll tell you what, it's sometimes just easier to sing the old songs because someone else has um, told me exactly how to do it. Um, it takes a lot to, to try to get my own songs where they need to be. I will end here with one more um, called the Riddle Song. Thank you for your comments too. Um, and thanks again to um, the folk school for having me out, such an honor. Um, and hope to maybe see some of you at the folk school um, in coming years, or especially in 2022, when I know I'll be there. Um, I gave my love a cherry that had no stone. Gave my love a chicken Thanks so much. Be in touch and have a wonderful day. Thank you, everybody.